This entire thing was vibe coded. What I want to show you is how I did the SEO for these pages. I want to rank for Shopify SEO tool keyword. First of all, you do need a sitemap or a basic sitemap. Once you have your live website, the first thing you want to do is set up Search Console. Once you're verified, you should submit your sitemap here. And the first thing you should always do is you should get your home page indexed. Now, once you've done that, you want to make some pages. How do you make these pages? So what I do is I use keywordtool.io. You can use any keyword tool that you want. However, specifically, this keyword tool is good because it uses something called phrase match. Something like Google Ads keyword tool, by the way, just so you know, is broad match, which can be good as well. All you need to do is think of two to three to four words that distinguish what you're trying to find from your searches or how you think people will find you. You can see here Shopify SEO checklist. If I go on here and go to performance, look at the best performing keyword. I couldn't have written that better myself. It's an exact match for this keyword. So you take the keyword, you can take the list of the keywords or you can pick and choose, I'd say maybe 15, 20. And then when you're at the point where you've built yourself a back end, so you've got your back end, you've got your front end, which is probably just a home page and a few other pages. You put all of this into Claude code, all of your design patterns, everything. I just literally said to Claude code, take my CSS, take my JavaScript, take everything and turn this into a Shopify SEO for beginners page. And key things here are H1, meta title, meta description, that they are all fully phrase matched. So you take the phrase match and you tell it to put in the meta title phrase match. Also in the title phrase match. And then just, you know, going further down, just make sure it's just a nice, interesting HTML, CSS, JavaScript page. And that's it. Now, this was already available in the school community on the Building Production Ready apps. If you do want to join the school community or you just want a bit more help with this kind of stuff, definitely feel free to join the school. It'll be the first link in the description of this video.